beer baths, fish slapping. Logan says peace out to Rachel. And Gabby adds Logan to her reverse harem. This was a memorable week five on The Bachelorette season 19. Ow, ow. I am Liz Donatelli and my co-host is Tiffany Current. You are watching Romance Recap, a weekly talk show on the Reader Seeks Romance channel that reviews and discusses dating reality shows. We are deep diving into a historic season of The Bachelorette, which follows the romance journeys of bachelorettes, Gabby Windy and Rachel Recchia. Hello, Tiffany. Here we are again, another week. I got to tell you, man, they should change the name of the show from The Bachelorette to Logan's Story, because that's all we got. <laughs> this whole episode, it was Logan's Story. It's a dramatic story of this young man interested in two women. I'm like, where are the girls? <laughs> Why are we watching him? It was his yeah. whole life story this episode. It is. And you know what? He's walking around very smug. Yes. Very smug. And I'm not liking it at all. I'm seeing his true colors, although we did peg him as potential trouble. We did. From the we beginning. were correct. Yeah, well, me, we were correct. Yeah. Um. So the, the episode opens with tortured Logan, you know, <laughs> um, looking into the mirror, self-reflective. He has some demons. It's interesting yeah. because um, we first learned there's going to be a group date and he's selected to be in the group date. And he's just like, you know what? I just felt it in my gut. I couldn't go on any longer. Like, really? And he's like, I've, I've got to talk to Rachel. Like, so dr- like, I've got to talk to her. And then yeah. we see him um, and he says he goes to see Rachel and he starts saying, like, I'm I'm honored by the roses you gave me, but I feel anchored down. And when he said anchored down, I'm like, come on, guys. Who wrote that? Who wrote that line anchored down? That's too much of a tie-in to being on a boat. He's like, I feel oh, why didn't you get that? Down. Yeah, he's like, I feel anchored down by my my feelings about, about Gabby. And he goes on to reveal mm-hmm. that he's still um feeling that connection to her. Yeah, I, I call BS. Um he claimed. <laughs> He claims that he and Gabby had such a powerful connection during the first group date yeah. all the way back episode one that he was so sure she was going to give him a rose. And I guess after that, he was so hurt. So he went team Rachel. I don't know. But he uh, he's singing a different tune these days all of a sudden. He's singing a different tune. And I'll give it to Rachel. In that moment, she handled it very well. She said, thank you for explaining it to me. I, I appreciate it. They they left. And after she closes the door, she proceeds to have the breakdown. Yes. Everyone's leaving me. No one wants to be. Look, I have to give her. I have to be honest. Yeah. I felt for her because I would feel the exact same way. Every single week, as she pointed out, somebody is jumping ship. I went there jumping ship. Jumping ship. Um, how many of those Dang. puns do you think we could fit into this episode? Let's figure it out. Jumping ship <laughs> anchored away. That's two. But she feels like everyone is jumping ship and leaving her. And she's very, you know, worn down by this. And I, and I felt for her. Did you feel for her a little bit? No, I did not. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's terrible. Well, you know what? I felt that she. No. <laughs> okay. That's fine. That's fine. I'm tired of her whining. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. About how she's being rejected constantly and nobody wants her. Rachel's suitors and Gabby's suitors are starting to feel like, hey, how They're much do you actually like, like us? So she has a breakdown. And while this is happening, the her group of guys are excited. They're like, we're in Bruges. We get to go see Belgium. We get to yeah. have chocolate and waffles and see bridges. And they're walking yeah. around the city. They're excited by their date. That never comes because Rachel is still in her white bathrobe in tears. And who visits her? Who visits her, Liz? Who's that who visits Jesse who not? Palmer with his massive shoulders and his French accent, which he did not use this episode. But he anyway. did it. But he was wearing a sweater again. Did you see the sweater? Yeah, I, he he really works those sweaters. Who's dressing him? I'm loving every single time I see him in a sweater. I'm like, yes, 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 yes. I can imagine him with one of those fisherman pea coats over, <laughs> yes! you know, over with the, the buttons. Sweater. Yes, yeah. he spoke some really kind words of wisdom to her. Yes. And gave her the choice. Do you want to continue with this group date? And I was actually pretty shocked that she didn't. (laughs) I I was shocked too. (laughs) The guys were disappointed. I was disappointed. I wanted a group date with Rachel in Belgium. And I didn't get it. And the guys didn't get it. And I think everyone was shocked by that. She canceled the date. Yeah. And I think that's showing just how like self-centered she is. And she does. 
she, I think she self. Uh, I think if it was Gabby, Gabby has not canceled any dates because Gabby's whole thing is I'm going to pick up and move on. Yes. Um, and she does think of others. I felt the exact same way, but my point of view changed, but I'll just say this quickly. Okay. I think it's because of last year, last year when they were on the bachelor, the whole okay. thing happened with Clayton when he was picking different people. Right. And Gabby was able to pick herself up and dust herself off because she's used to rejection from her mom. Her entire childhood, she had that rejection from her mom. So she knows how to pick herself up and keep going. Right. Rachel, I think this is the first time. Like, I think last year was the first time that ever happened to her in her life. And so it's ah. still in her mind. So she isn't able to recover. That's what I think. Okay. Well, then when you put that spin on it, but it's time for Rachel to grow up and experience rejection and deal with it. I will just say the one thing when we see Rachel crying to Jesse, she looked really good. So Gabby cries ugly tears. Rachel, though, like yeah, she always looks like good. Her, yeah, she looks good. Like her makeup wasn't running that much and her eyes still look yeah. really nice. No puffiness. I don't. She's a pretty crier. So I have to give her props for that. Well, she's a performer. <laughs> I'm going to backtrack real quick. Yeah. She, I don't know why this wasn't featured more, but they teased me with the chocolate wrestling. When the guys <gasps> yes, were going through yes, rouge, they yes. encountered two men wrestling each other in chocolate. Yes. Why didn't they have the suitors? Because do like that, that was probably going to be the group date that we missed out on. Oh, I saw the me? chocolate wrestling and I thought, I'm like, we get a chocolate wrestling date. I was yeah. super excited. Guys taking off their shirt, Tina with the shirt off in chocolate would have been hot. Did not happen because Rachel canceled the group date. Oh, man. Chocolate dipped suitors. I'm all about that. Chocolate dipped suitors. Let's just call this Logan brooding. It felt very much like a movie trailer. We saw Logan brooding over the side of the boat. We saw Logan brooding in the mirror. Very much like Christian Bale, Batman. I'm Batman. And then we see Logan brooding as he's walking down the hallway. Nonstop brooding all the time. I'm like, this guy, whoever his acting coach is, is doing a fantastic job. He knows yeah. how to brood properly. Because he's a videographer, I forgot. he knows how the scene should be set. But I think he's also probably a failed actor. I think he was a failed actor who went into videography. I think you're probably right because that look in the mirror when he was doing Christian oh. Bale, I was like, that is a, that's straight out of a movie, man. And so we see him arrive at Gabby's door and what happens? Well, Abby lets him in, doesn't think anything of it. I, I was like, okay. Logan, you know, reveals to Gabby, listen, I've just ended things with Rachel and admits that I was on fire for you the first night that we met. Okay. I heard that word too. I'm thinking if you were on fire... Then why did you go after Rachel? Because I like when he said that, I'm like, really? Were you? It was that was a serious use of word there. I was like, on fire. He is looking back at that time and idealizing it yes. and changing it. Because yes. I remember very clearly, he even said he wasn't really sure who he was into. He was going to, yes. you know, uh, not kiss them both right away or whatever the deal was. He did not. He never said he was on fire from her. Uh, I think after spending time with Rachel, he's like, yeah, she's not really my type. I'm going to go to, to, to Gabby and change the narrative. And this is when Gabby, which I don't know if she should have admitted to him, you know, you were always our overlap, Logan, yes. where we both seemed equally interested in you. And I'm like, don't give him that, that validation. But it was true because I remember watching that episode. And I think we both discussed it. She said herself in her own words that she stepped back. And we saw yeah. it in the moment that when Rachel That's admitted that she liked him, Gabby, we could see in her head's like, all right, I'm stepping back. I'm not going to say that I like him too much. And she did. Yeah, and which means that she also felt like, he's someone I can lose to my friend. Like he, she was okay putting her yes. friend above uh, Logan because maybe she was like, yeah, you know, I can live without him. I will say in this moment, when he's coming in and expressing his feelings, she specifically said, well, how did Rachel take it? And when yes. she asked that question, I thought somebody needs to give her the best friend award yeah. because that was still kind of like, well, how did Rachel take it? How was Rachel doing? She was so concerned about her friend in that moment. And I I really appreciated Gabby for saying that. I admired her for doing that. Um, she even left off with him without giving him an answer either way, yes. saying, I need to check with Rachel. And again, what popped in my head is, did they have the same conversation when it came to Hayden and Rachel giving Hayden mm. that rose after we all, she knew, <laughs> we knew how he had treated Gabby. So I just, 
I hope that they had had a similar conversation and that it was that the respect has been truly mutual between yes. Abby and Rachel. And then from there, she goes immediately to talk to Rachel and find yeah. out what happened. And Rachel kind of reiterates what, what went on and, and et cetera. And then and then Gabby's like, well, how did you do going on your group date? And Rachel says, I did not go on the group date. And Gabby was shocked. Gabby was like, oh, you did it? And I was like, I know. Yeah. She was shocked because we were shocked and everybody was shocked. Like, so you didn't just muddle through and, <laughs> and go on the right. date. Very shocked. At one point, Gabby was actually like moving her lips and no sound was coming out because she couldn't believe. I mean, do you think that in that moment, Gabby might have, you know, been a little judgy thinking, geez, Rachel, you could have gone through with it. I think she was a better friend than me because because <laughs> at that moment, Rachel said, I'm not sure about if I'm going to go to tonight either. Now, Gabby didn't say anything. In my mind, I would have been like, but you got to go to tonight, though. You got to You got to go to tonight, though. We are on a TV show. Gabby didn't yeah. say that. So she's a better friend than me. And yeah. and once again, Rachel's Rachel actually was very nice. She gave Gabby permission and Gabby said, I'm not sure. But Rachel did give permission, but I would like to uh, check in with you later to uh, kind of analyze whether that permission <laughs> was authentic. We do finally get to see Rachel go out with the guys. She goes and she meets them at, I guess, a, a bar later, and she yes. apologizes for what happened. She she lets them know about Logan, and she says yeah. she's sorry about the group date. And, and she admits that it was very tough on her and that that it's tough that people keep leaving. And she opened the floor to say, if anybody wants to leave, do yes. it now. Do you know that I thought Meeple was going to leave? I don't, <laughs> I don't know why. I was like, you know what? Maybe they just brought him back. That way yeah. he can have a dramatic exit. But that's, that's not what he, happened. Nobody he, left. That didn't <laughs> happen. Ethan pulled him aside, pulled her aside, and they he actually had a aggressive. conversation. He was a little he, aggressive. He was aggressive, but I guess you have to be. He pulled her aside. They yes. had a little date on the couch. He said, like, your smile makes me happy. They make out. This is their first make out, um, yeah, she, I think, on the show so far. Yes. This was uh, Ethan and uh, Rachel's first kiss. And... If you looked carefully, I rewound it a few times. Rachel initiated the kiss. She oh my God, him. I didn't realize that. I think she was testing the waters. I think she was testing well, the waters. Well, I think she has to. There's only a limited number of guys left. Let's see if anybody likes me, right? That's <laughs> no, what like, I gotta, I, I gotta be with somebody. No, you're and right. There, <laughs> she goes with Tino. Oh. I really like Tino because Tino, yeah. you know, sat her down and basically said, you know, I'm, I'm disappointed. Yeah. You lost a memory today. And I was like, what a sweet guy yeah that was a nice moment. like we lost a memory you know he's like I felt unseen you know we could have had a really great day together and I'm like yeah oh, I liked him he was great I was a thousand percent Tino you were correct I think he expressed himself eloquently yeah he he wasn't blamey or judgy even though he might have felt like pointing his finger at her <laughs> and she assured him you know um I see you I see you and I'm like yeah I don't know. You haven't really indicated that in your actions. And they kiss. She's she's having. I'm 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 going to give Rachel the benefit of the doubt. She's had a lot of people leave, a lot of rejection, and it hurts. And she has to pretend like everything's okay. Rachel goes on a date with Tyler to like a hidden room in the back of a bar with lots of mirrors. It was supposed that we had thought that it was a fun house that they went to a yes. carnival, which would yes. have been cool. But it was this mirrored hallway of stars. It was supposed to be stars. Oh, I guess. Is that what that's supposed to yeah, be? he said, oh, know. you look so great among the stars. And I'm like, it's mirrors with light. <laughs> the point is <laughs> they kiss, right? She's probably, she's getting her kissing in. They're just oh, you guys yeah. are trying to make her feel good. And so then Rachel goes outside with Zach and they proceed to have their Titanic moment, right? They're on the edge of the boat, screaming <laughs> out, screaming out. They had a little Titanic moment of like, you know, I love, not I love you, but she was just getting on her frustrations, but that's yeah. how they were able to connect. Yeah, well, I think with the screaming, they went a little overboard. <laughs> <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> So ridiculous. So at this point in the episode, Rachel is very confident yes. that everyone in her team, they're there for her. So yes. it looks like things are picking up for her. Yes. Uh, she gives her rose to Tino, 
As she um, should, absolutely. What, did you see poor Zach's face when she gave Tino the oh. rose? When Zach's face dropped, I was like, is he going to quit the show? For a mm-hmm. second, I thought he was going to quit the show. I'm glad oh. he hasn't quit the show, but his face yeah, was... He, it, uh, I felt him. And he even told like on his one on one confessional with the with the camera, he said, yeah. there are real feelings on the line. Rachel understands this. I, I don't know. Because um, Rachel doesn't float your boat. So, right. She doesn't float my boat. OK. Yes. So now we go to Gabby's group date. Yes. Um, which she wears high heels to uh, to explore the city. <laughs> Stop it. I love her outfit. I thought she looked hot. She was showing some stomach. She had a serious slit all the way up her hip. I was like, okay. get it. Get Listen, it, girl. Very sexy, inappropriate for a boat ride what? and then an impromptu soccer game with the Sudas versus local children. So so let's let's get to that. We start, okay. they do the boat ride, whatever. That's fine. It was exciting. They go, they eat waffles. I want to have just one comment about the waffles. Yeah. Eric tells her to go get some whipped cream and they lean over and they get the whipped cream out of the, I don't know, the, the container thing. And the I thought whipped cream. This is against yes. cream. Yeah. that's against regulations. That was unsanitary. A, yeah. I was I, I was like, no. I'm sure that the production said, hey, is this okay? Yes. And they okay, probably yes. paid the restaurant to have it cleaned thoroughly yes. from their mouth. I think that was so. fun. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Eric knows how to play, but I think he is a player. Um, so I know. Uh, I know. So they, they do the whole whipped cream thing with th- those waffles look fantastic. Anyhow. <laughs> I will just say a quick thing. I have been to Bruges and the waffles there are fantastic. Oh, you can attest to it. I get, it's The waffles are great. The chocolate's great. It's a great city. That's like one of my favorite cities. So we're on this date and randomly they see kids playing soccer in the park. Okay. Um, and the guys proceed to play soccer with the kids. I'm like, what's what's happening? Who are these random children that are just hanging out in the park? Um, yeah, it's part I- of the date. And then they're manhandling the kids. Like they're picking up the kids. And there's a shot. Of the guys playing with the kids and Gabby is cheering them on from the sidelines and she yeah. looks like a sexy goth vampiress. Okay. <laughs> um, she looks like she is going to start Stop sucking it. blood. She looks uh darkly in a she looks very inappropriate for that scene. Like everything's very light and fluffy, and she's just standing there like I thought she looked incredible. I'm sorry if it was not for you. But it would have I... worked in any other scenario for me other than playing soccer with kids. Okay. Um, but she got to see the the guys interact with kids. And then finally we go to, oh, I don't yeah. know, a bar. And they proceed to play, I guess, the Belgian version of rock, paper, scissors. Where right. if you lose, you get smacked in the face with a fish. I've never heard of this before. It yeah. was fascinating. They looked ice cold. I, I yes. think they were ice cold. So that must have really hurt. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> so the guys get caught up in that. And then Jason, instead of yes. slapping with the fish, he kisses, oh. he kisses uh, her. Gabby. He steals a kiss. And I thought he it was so cute. Kiss. I thought it was so cute the way he did it. It was adorable. I Jason is winning me over. I really like Jason a lot. Um, that cute was really cute. It was just a really sweet, innocent kiss. But I will say, right after that, we cut to Nate close up. And this is the first time I noticed that Nate is wearing a safety pin as an earring. Did I you noticed, see that? I did notice that. I was like, I mean, I'm fine with it. It was just, it was a note. I was like, ooh, what's the safety pin? I know. I thought it was dangerous and edgy. I was wondering if it was like, an ode to his daughter, a safety pin because of diapers. I don't, I don't think that's the reason. No, I, I think I think it's just like a cool <laughs> okay. artist thing to do. <laughs> okay. But so we finish off the date. Great date. The guys go back. They're sitting together like in a bar. They're like, we had a great time. This is a great group of guys. And then, oh dun, yeah, dun, dun. oh man, each each suitor was stunned beyond belief because <gasps> look who joins them. Logan. Logan walks in. <laughs> oh. Very villainous. And like, like even a smile, and he's just like, what's up, guys? I'm joining your team now. I'm moving in. This guy was so freaking smug. Yeah, he so smug. looked like the uh the cat that ate the canary. Yes, that is it's true. It's not a boat pun, but I wanted to say <laughs> that. He looked that, like the iceberg that hit the Titanic. I don't know. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> The point is, they were shocked. I was disappointed. And then we see Gabby walk in. 
a little like giggly and she sits down. She's yeah. like, hey guys, um, if you haven't noticed, you know, Logan joined us. She proceeds to tell them the story. And then Gabby says, so I guess here we are. And in that moment, I thought, I think Gabby's being held prisoner. <laughs> I was like, I think Gabby is being held prisoner really? by the producers. Because in that moment, she said, I guess here we are. It seemed like she was like, oh. I guess this is what I have to do. The producers are forcing me to have Logan oh. here. That's an That's interesting. I, I think it's because she was at a loss of words um, for how to explain to the guys that she picked Logan, that she told him to come on, join us in the dinghy. I think uh, I think there's another captain driving the boat and it's the producers and they're saying you're having this passenger in whether you want to or not. And she's like, I guess I have to. <laughs> I guess I when I saw her expression, it seemed like she was slightly uncomfortable. Yeah. I don't know if it's okay. true, but it felt like a producer moment for me. That's interesting. I I just feel like she could sense that the guys weren't on board with her new decision. <laughs> She has a couple yeah. little dates um, and then Nate and Gabby have a, a quick little date and he says, what I, I appreciate him. He says, I, I support you in wanting to explore this. I want to feel chosen. Good for you, Nate. Love Nate. Nate is fantastic. They kiss. Yeah. Gabby and Eric have a little slight date and he's like, I didn't get to steal a kiss. Can I have a kiss now? They get a kiss with Eric. Still not sure about Eric. Still not sure about yeah, Eric. Yeah, you know, um, Eric, uh, when she kissed him, when they kissed, Eric gave a very angry kiss. It's <laughs> like he was, uh, it looked like he was going to choke her out, if you notice. Like he was grabbing her to the point. I was like, wow, like, I don't know if it's passion or a little bit of his anger is coming. <laughs> or resentment. I don't know what was happening. Well, resentment, yeah. He had a date with Logan. Yeah. Which I, and Logan, to me, in this moment, he sits down, he's like, I feel great. I feel great to be here. And in that moment, I'm like, he's a sociopath. <laughs> at this point i said you should not have thrown him a life jacket and get let yes. him join the group yes he could have um i guess departed in the sea as with the rest of them i don't know the point is he oh he should have been made to walk the plank oh i like that yes <laughs> but he didn't she said to him that you know you you know you have to listen to your heart and yeah. you know you did it with integrity and I'm like, did he really do it with integrity? I know. He, he was accepting roses for weeks. If he had integrity, he would have, you know, said something a lot sooner. Next thing I have is that G Gabby does give her rose to Nate. She gives it to Nate, uh, which I thought was a good choice. And then from there, we finally get to the one-on-one -on -one date. And we finally get to see Rachel on a one-on-one -on -one date with Aven. Aven. Yeah. And I feel like that whole date was like a makeout date once again. <gasps> they were on that horse ride the entire time. They weren't looking at yeah. the city. They weren't looking at the horse. They were just like no, 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 to each other's lips the whole time. It was heavy making out. And I'm going to say, I could watch them make out for quite a while. <laughs> there was passion. Uh, he's a gentle kisser. He took her against the wall. He did take her against the wall. He took I did appreciate the, that. Yes, I, yes, I love against the wall kisses. I think it's passionate. She revealed to Avon that she feels safe with him, which yes. I don't think she has said to anybody else. So I'm wondering mm. what about their connection makes her feel uh, extraordinarily safe. Um, I don't know. I think it's a sexual connection because uh, on the previous time when they were on the football field together, it was the whole like he was trying to talk and she kept trying to make out with him. So I think she's just really into him. Okay, like so it's she's a, just very a physical attraction. Yeah, she's That's very, what I think. Yeah. They run into lace makers in the park, as yes. one does in Belgium. We get and to see um, <laughs> three hired actors in a park. Let's be three honest. Three hired actors <laughs> making lace. And they present her with a veil yes. to try on. Yes. And let me, you know, that kiss that they shared with him yeah. lifting her veil. I thought that was a beautiful was kiss. Sweet. Yeah, it, it was, was a beautiful a nice kiss. kiss. And uh, she said she could kind of see them, you know, going through that in real life. Um, she she really felt and they went out to dinner. Um, I guess I don't know where they were, but they went out to dinner. And yeah. that's where it was revealed that. Aven has kind of a um yes. a tough relationship with his parents oh, because yeah. I think he went to live with his dad when he was 10. Yeah. But as an adult, he grew close to his mom and she actually gave his mom gave him a, a good luck charm. And he gave that good luck charm to Rachel. Yeah. I actually thought that was sweet. Like I thought that's actually very he's like, I know you've been yeah. going through a rough time. Maybe this will bring you some good luck. He's like, you can have it for a short period of time. He did say you can have it for a short period of time. Yeah. yeah. And I'm getting it back. But for now, <laughs> yeah. this is your you, you could uh, save it until we get to the next port and you kick me out. 
Yeah. And, you know, according to my notes, Rachel just couldn't keep her hands off of Avon. She was grabby. She was very yeah. grabby. She, she was, was grab aggressive. kissing him. I mean, she was like really forceful. Uh, I don't know. I mean, the sexual, the pheromones between them must be super popping. I think yes. it's uh, intense. They were they were popping because they set off fireworks. Apparently, they set but off it fireworks. Was like uh, it was like an intense like kiss me again. He's like, okay, it was a nice date. I think she it deserved was. it. Whether or not you like her or not, she deserved to have a nice one on one date. She had it. Then we move on to what, um, uh, real quickly. Rachel yeah. says that she thinks she's falling for him like sooner rather than later. It was of note. I was like, all right. I mean, it was well, of note. Well, we'll see noted <laughs> it is it is on. now recorded in the captain's log <laughs> so then we get to a date between johnny and gabby i have to be honest i i only remember johnny from the first episode yeah and i haven't seen much of him since i was kind of curious like what is this date going to be yes interesting? but it was a it was a nice date i have to say this date uh, so many layers to it so many like layers to from what their activities were to emotions yes. and yes. and vulnerability and sharing. And I was way more into this date than I thought I would be. Yes. Uh, to be honest, before they go on the date, Gabby one-on-one -on -one confessional says, you know, I usually don't like macho, too cool for school types, yes. which Johnny appears to be. She totally said, comes off that way. Yeah. Yes. But she says, but I've seen that he's kind of, he can be silly and, and, you know, I'm kind of looking forward to this and Johnny, you know, he rises to the occasion. Um, they start off at a brewery for beer tastings. Yes. Um, Johnny calls it a beer farm and I don't know why he mentioned about it being a beer farm. I don't, I know. don't know why that either, was a strange it was a weird thing, but can we talk about Vincent, the brewer, the the oh, guy who was okay. like, just oh, for sure. a moment, like I saw him, like he's kind. Of, I mean, I didn't like his little curly Q uh, uh -huh. mustache beard thing, but I thought he was kind of cute. Really, I no? don't look too closely at Vincent. You should go back and look closely. Uh, I'll I have to cute. double do a double take. So as we did predict last week it's a spa date weird yeah. back alley spa date i don't know what kind of a spa this is it was very unusual yeah. it was kind of connected to the brewery and there's a tub of beer for them to do a beer soak gabby's hitting uh johnny with these looks like reeds but they're beer hops which is oh, like a flower they're oh, flowers cool. that you use to make beer it's the hops so she's hitting him with it in a very bdsm you know, do you like I it? I thought that was, I thought that was funny because she's like yeah. hitting him and, and then he's like, I'm going to hit you. She's like, hit me in the face. And then she's like, just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, I was she, like, I love Gabby. <laughs> she got very into it. She, I think the two of them would be a really good kinky pair. Yes, that is very um, true. That is know. very true. I so agree with you. I thought that was pretty fun. And then she does like an exfoliating massage on, on Johnny. There was a lot of stuff happening on that date. Yeah. yeah. And then it ended with the beer soak. And what I thought was interesting is that like he appeared to have drunk from the beer that they're sitting in. And then Gabby goes down and takes a sip and he's like, oh, you swallowed it. He goes, he goes that's not good for you. He goes, I spit mine out. And I'm like, you spit oh, it out? That's gross. Yeah, You're like he did. soaking in it. He said it very low. He's like, he goes, oh, you drank it. He goes, I spit mine out. He goes, that's not good for you. I'm like, neither is sitting in your spit. <laughs> Neither are sitting in beer, let's be honest. But after the beer date, they go, yes. um, they go and they have dinner somewhere. And she starts to ask him a little bit more deeper questions. Yeah. And he goes and she says, Are you a guarded person? And, and he admits that he he actually is. Yes. That he's a person that's actually very self-conscious, but people don't think that. But but part of it has to do because his last relationship, yeah, right when he started being himself, the girl left. And I was like, Oh, that's that's very tough. Yeah. One of the red flags as far as his longevity with gabby is he says that he never acts like this meaning silly mm. and unapologetically goofy and i feel like this is just a one-off where he's gonna act Aww. this way with her because they're in this situation i don't know if in real life he would continue yes. to be the silly goofy person she's hoping he will be so I feel like, you know, he's too self-conscious overall to really be this way all the time. I don't know. It sounds like as we got to know him, he, he is self-conscious, but 
he was saying that usually he's not this way, but yeah. maybe this is his true self, but he doesn't show it to people because he's yeah. afraid that people will, yeah. will leave him or right. walk out on him. I mean, we um, all have experienced that before, but he admitted also he's the least confident person ever. And I'm like, gee, that's not something that's particularly attractive. You know, See, he's already talking about the fact that people would eat. He's like, when I admit myself, people walk away. You walk away, Liz. You would walk I, away. I don't want to walk away. I want to stay there. Away. But he has got to um, work on the confidence. That you way jump he ship. Can... You would jump ship. Jump ship. Well done. I agree with you. He was admitting that he's self-conscious and that he, you know, he's nervous about things. And that he also suffers from depression, but he hasn't seen anybody for it. So I was like, all right. Yeah, that's he's right. He's talking about his feelings, but he hasn't been in therapy. Unlike Jason, who has, has been in therapy and has yeah. worked on himself. So maybe he needs to do a little bit more growing first before Gabby can right. be the right fit. Right. Otherwise, Gabby will fall into the role of being his therapist if yep. he doesn't take care of himself. And she doesn't want that. And I don't want that for her. She does give Johnny the rose. So he's safe. Yeah. And then they chase each other in the courtyard, which I thought was really romantic. And he cute. catches her and spins her around in his arms. That was a that was a nice touch, Johnny. It was it was a nice touch. And so we finally get to the the cocktail party. The final cocktail party. Yes. All the guys are together. And then like Rachel's group mm-hmm. finally sees that Logan is still mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Rachel and Gabby come out and Rachel apologizes mm-hmm. again for what happened and for canceling yeah. the date. And Logan, Logan apologizes for like, you know, making that happen. Whatever, Logan. Yeah. And that was such an insincere apology, by the way. It was insincere. But then we get to see some little dates happen. I'll just call it Nate and Gabby again because I love Nate. Yeah, I I do love Nate. I do. Love I do Nate. love Nate. I don't know yeah. if it's going to work for them, but Gabby gives Nate a gift, and it's for his daughter. It's just spelled from chocolate. Can I just say I started crying? Oh really? <laughs> oh. Like, when, he, when she said she gave him a gift, I was like, oh my god, tears! It's so sweet. Oh, I thought that was super sweet. I was moved well, by that. I was touched, but you know, I think I'm a little too cynical because I said to myself, well, I'm Aww. sure the show paid for that gift. <laughs> Such a terrible person. I know, I know. It's the thought that counts. They share a nice, a nice, they share a nice moment, and then eventually, Gabby has a date with Logan. And what happens on this uh, Gabby Logan date? So Logan presents Gabby with two frozen fish so they can catch up on the missed group date from yes. earlier. And they do rock paper scissors, and she whacks him with the fish. She went in on him. She's like, let yeah, me she did. out of this prison. That's what I felt like she was doing. Like, let yeah. me go. She like oh. legit like hit him like back and forth <laughs> multiple times. See, I took it that she gives awesome. it to him hard like that because she knows he'll give it back. Like she knows that he, uh. oh, they have that. I guess they established that type of relationship in the first date where she could give it, you know, give it to him good and he'll give it back and they could be antagonistic lovers, you know? I, I took it as her getting at her actual emotions oh. of like, I I don't want to be here with you. Like smacking him. Like Interesting. I'm no. getting, this is for Rachel. This is for me. This is for the guys. So you think he, she was treating him kind of almost like an unwanted stowaway. <laughs> yes, Liz. So they start doing the yeah. rose ceremony. Yeah. And, and bottom line is at some point, Logan gets picked. <gasps> And then that was the moment when he comes down and then Johnny throws some shade. Uh, he said, I would respect if Mario had received, you know, the final rose because he has been putting in the work. In that moment, I'm like, OK, Johnny, I see you. I yeah. see you when I like you. I see you when I like you. As far as the rose ceremony, one of my first observations was Meatball yeah. was wearing glasses. And I think he looks way hotter wearing glasses. Looks very attractive. But we saw the, the rose ceremony go down. And basically, yes. I think, Gabby, it was Jason, Spencer, Eric, Logan, and Nate and Johnny already had the rose. Yep. And then Rachel <laughs> went with Zach, Tyler, and Ethan. And also, obviously, Tino and Avon State. So that was kind of a surprising, yeah. uh, surprising rose yeah. ceremony for me. Meatball, Michael, and Mario. Goodbye. Bye, 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 bye. Yeah. When Logan received that final rose, yes, Rachel kind of looks. She gives him a look. It uh, looks and then looks down like she's a little disappointed because she did mention earlier in the episode she yeah. did hope that eventually Logan would, you know, be sent away. Be gone. 
And then they show Logan, you know, with his smirk, walking away and Rachel just staring him down. (laughs) And I don't know. Do you think that was kind of like, I'm watching you. Don't you hurt Gabby? Or was it a jealousy thing? Is it a, I'm still mad at you? Like, I think it's probably, I'm still mad at you. I, I, I still Mm. think this is a producer's play right now, keeping him along as we saw from the previews for next week. Mm. Um, But I think she's probably thinking, I'm still mad at you. Okay. Um, I think I think she's still pissed off, honestly, and she also doesn't trust him. But that's just it. Like, how can how can Gabby trust him? Almost Gabby is just so innocent and believing in she's his being sincerity. held prisoner, Liz. She's mm. being held prisoner well, by the producers. I hope they're paying her enough to I have to do are. this. I, I think are. I read they they get a hundred thousand dollars. That's actually pretty nice. Uh yeah, I feel like it should be more given all the money they make off of this show, right? No, anyway. Um, I don't know, but they also get like free room and board and get to be flown to Europe and enjoy. Well, that's you know. true. That's true. So at the end, uh, we do learn that the next stop is Amsterdam. Amsterdam it should be fun. And and from the previews, it looks like we're gonna get a lot of drama, a lot of drama, a lot of trauma, a lot of, of course, again, Logan for some reason. Um, it but it, it looks like we're not going to have to deal with Logan much longer, depe- you know, based on the teaser for, for next week. Uh, it looks like not. Jesse gets involved, actually. Yeah. Jesse and his sweater gets involved. <laughs> Jesse, your bags. Leave want- <laughs> my sweater here and go. Well, Tiffany, thank you for showing up again this week and really making the two of us a priority. So much so that I feel seen. To love. I see you. To love. <laughs>